Hey everybody, it's Cartfab here, and today I'm going to show you how to paint a go-kart. The steps that we're going to go over will include the materials you need, the preparation of bare metal and painted metal, and priming, as well as painting. So let's check it out. Before you paint a go-kart, you want to prepare the surface that you're going to paint. Otherwise, the paint will not stick or it can become contaminated and look and look kind of dirty. So with surface prep on an unpainted surface you want to take a wire wheel attachment on an angle grinder or wire brush and remove the rust. It's by far the easiest way to remove rust is with a simple wire cup or wire wheel attachment and you just run it in slow circles around the point that you need to have the rust removed. Then you set it up so you can paint on both sides. If you want to set it up outside, set it up on cinder blocks. In my case, I wired it to the ceiling. So let's say you already have a go-kart that's painted and you just want to paint over what's already there. You still have to prepare the painted surface a little bit by scuffing it up with a sanding block or sandpaper. After you finish sanding it, you want to take a clean rag and wipe it up with mineral spirits. Next is priming the go-kart. Now a few of you have asked me in the past, is it really necessary to prime something before I paint it? And the answer is yes, if you want to save money, if you want it to look good, and if you want it to last. Primer will stick to the metal a lot better than paint will, and it'll prevent the paint from flaking off. It'll also allow the paint to stick much better to the primer, whereas it couldn't stick to the metal very well. You can also prime uh, painted surfaces, but it's not as important. The last step is painting the go-kart frame. Now for those of you that have never used a rattle can before, it's pretty straightforward. All you do is shake up the can to mix up the paint for about a minute straight, and then hold it uh, about six inches to a foot away from where you want to paint, and then do short spurts moving as you spray the paint. And then uh, you don't want to wait more than 10 minutes in between coats, or you'll have to wait 48 hours between coats, or you'll get some wrinkling. Now this last step I'm going to show you isn't necessary, but it makes for a cool effect. Uh, if you want two-tone rims, you paint everything, let it dry for 48 hours, uh, tape off the areas you don't want to have paint on them, and then spray paint the second coat. So that's kind of what it looks like when it's all done. You can choose whatever colors you like, and make sure everything cures for about 48 hours before you put it back together. So if you like this video, and if you found it helpful, please comment below, let me know what you think, give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, subscribe. The previous video was go-kart extras, the next one is the final assembly of the go-kart, and if you want links to the articles, they're in the description as well. And Check out the free plans I have at cartfab.com.